You wanted me to start with a different one first? This one? Okay. So, uh, like you I said, point, point. I did point. Yeah, no, I'm saying going forward, if these are out of an order that I did wrong. Well, I, I did. I did. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Great. It's great. Okay. Um, got a couple of products in this week. You'll see more coming soon as our shipments start arriving and hopefully um, they're not tariffed excessively so we can put them in the store at a good price. Uh, like this, this is a Sense 66 adapter board. That's the board in the center there. Uh, as you see, it converts the Sensirion Sense 66. Wow, that was featured last week on IMPI. Maybe you guys yeah. picked one up. You should. It's a really I cool all-in-one air quality sensor. But then you're like, man, I want to connect that to my microcontroller, my Raspberry Pi. How do I do that? Well, you're in luck. Pick up the Adafruit Sense 66 or Sense X because there's other in that family. They're all pin compatible. You also have the GH cable in stock. You plug it in, you connect it. It does all the level shifting for you, uh, power regulation. And I can connect it to any 5 volt or 3 volt mic controller. And then you run Sensirian's I squared C code for Arduino or Raspberry Pi or Linux or embedded, what, what have you. And you got like this amazing all in one air quality sensor. Plug and play, no solving required. Yeah, okay. Uh, which one do you want to get to next one? Okay, next up okay. is da -da -da, people watched me design this on Desk Lady Ada. Now it's out in the world. I know I did. You did. It's a sparkle motion stick. That's a weird shape. So just don't worry about that yet. But it's a USB plug stick it has terminal blocks on the end. So it's fully assembled and it's meant to be used with WLED. Although to be honest, you could use it with Arduino, CircuitPython, um, MicroPython, whatever, ESP IDF. And it does this. It can, you plug into USB and it has wireless, like Wi Fi and Bluetooth energy control of NeoPixel LEDs, uh, five amps. Sorry, five volts up to two amps. And the cool thing about this board is it has lots of extras. So like that black blobby thing near the USB, that's infrared input. So you can use a remote control. WLED has great support for infrared. There's a microphone, which if you look on the back, there's an ESP32. Mm. We use like a classic ESP32 um, because that's the most best supported. It has an I2S microphone for great audio input. And it's got... Um, terminal blocks with five volt ground and two outputs. There's also a built-in NeoPixel LED if you wanna like you know, use a NeoPixel, it has a built-in USB serial converter with auto reset, um, has level shifting on the output, so they're five volts, so it'll run like any kind of weird NeoPixel-y thing. And then you're like, wow, this is really cool, but why is it that weird shape? And don't you have like some sort of enclosure you could put it in? Why? You're in luck because the, the star shows. Show is the version with an enclosure. You get a dollar off if you buy it with an enclosure. Um, this is a snap-on enclosure that we put in the shop it's a couple weeks ago. It's, did, we, it's, did we say it's snappy? Because that's too easy. It's snappy. It, the both pieces snap on. Oh, and there's a yeah. button in the center, which you can use for changing modes. Yeah. So in the, in the little GIF, it's used to turn on and off. You can change, have it change modes. It's true. I recommend getting it with a stick so that it's a little plastic enclosure. The button works on it, which is awesome because you can still use it yeah. for modes. The terminal blocks come out, but they don't stick up too much. Um, comes a little protector and you can toss it into your bag. I think this is great for like portable projects where you want to do WLED because you could just plug it into any USB battery pack. So you, whatever you use to charge your phone when you're traveling, plug it in and now you've got a you know portable, easy to recharge WLED project. You don't have to worry with like lithium ion batteries. Oh, and, oh charging and swapping oh. um you also plug it into the wall I, you know i saw this as like a, a christmas tree kit something like this but not oh. nearly as cool where it you know you had led strand on on the end of it and you could like decorate your tree it's like oh yeah just have it plugged into the wall and then you just you know have this the strand come out oh. um so i thought it was very very convenient so I, i'll say uh it's at a good price the price might go up if some of the components um start getting tariffed heavily Right now we had those components on hand, so you're in luck. I would pick up one of these with the enclosure. Um, they're really great for making WLED or X lights or really anything, uh, NeoPixel projects with wireless Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth low energy.